Hey science crew, we are starting to talk about these ecosystem interactions now and there are some pretty amazing ones out there. They're just super fascinating to me. Um, and when I'm talking about these specific ecosystem interactions, I'm talking about interactions between different living things. Okay. So if you think about it, everything on Earth doesn't exist in its own little bubble. Okay. Species interact every day, and that interaction is a vital part to how organisms develop and change over time. So here we got an example of Tom Hanks. Uh, he's This is from a movie called Castaway. He's lost on an island. He got stranded there. Even he, there's no humans around. He's interacting with his environment. Okay. And just think about it. How many organisms have you interacted with today? You may have interacted with adults, your classmates, your pets, maybe a mosquito bit you, uh, and your breakfast. Your breakfast is actually from different organisms. Okay, could you live and grow without these interactions? Nope. I mean, maybe you can live without the mosquito, but those other ones are pretty important too. So we're going to learn about these interactions. So here are some examples. Uh, of the types of interactions that you should know about. We have predation, competition, and then symbiosis, and there's different types of symbiosis. We have commensalism, mutualism, and parasitism. And uh, if you need to, you can pause the video so you can write these down because we're going to define these. So first we have the predation, or this is pre predator-prey interaction. Okay, this is a win-lose interaction in which one organism consumes or gets eaten by all or part of another. Sorry, that didn't make sense. An organism is consumed. One organism does the consuming, does the eating of all or part of the organism. So, for example, we have the black bear and the salmon, the owl and the mouse, and it's hard to imagine, but it's actually a predator-prey interaction when a rabbit is eating grass. The grass is an organism that is being preyed upon by the rabbit. Okay, And we have competition. Different type of interaction. That's where organisms are competing for resources. They need the same things and so they're going to fight over them. So for example we have the trees that are competing for light. On this flower we have some bugs competing for pollen, and then we have these gorillas who may be competing over shelter or food, or maybe they're fighting over a mate, um, or maybe they're just fighting over territory. It looks pretty terrifying actually. Okay. Then we have symbiosis. This is a close and dependent relationship between organisms of different species. And this, can, this is kind of confusing uh, at first, but once we dive into the different types of symbiotic relationships, like mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism, you're going to understand that this is about organisms that live and rely on each other, even though they're different species. Okay, so here we go. First we have mutualism. Mutualism is a win-win relationship for both involved. For example, we have bees and flowers. The bees get the honey or the nectar which they bring back to their hive and they turn into honey and then the flower gets the pollen and the pollen is actually like flowers sperm and the bees bring it to other flowers and so they reproduce this way it's a pretty pretty cool relationship the flowers rely on the bees the bees rely on the flowers they both win okay then we have commensalism this is when one species benefits and the other species, it, it doesn't really affect them. This is a win-meh situation. So for example, we have this gazelle and the spider. The gazelle doesn't seem to care that there is a, a ton of spider webs all over its head, although I think I would care if I was it. Um, but the spider gets a benefit. It gets to move around. Maybe this, this setup here with a web helps it catch more insects. Um, it it's pretty cool. It's a win-meh relationship. So one wins, one doesn't care. And then we get parasitism. Parasitism is when one benefits and the other is harmed. And this is 
we would consider this a win-lose relationship, but it's a win-lose that doesn't usually result in the person or the animal or the plant um, being totally killed or eaten. Um, maybe parts of it will be eaten, but not the whole thing. Um, and this is an example that some of you might recognize from uh, The Last of Us, the ant and the cordyceps. Cordyceps fungus is actually a real fungus that infects and, be, uh, and makes ants zombified. And it eventually kills them, um, but this fungus uses the ant to get up high into high places and release its spores. So the ant is forced to climb up to a high place. There it kind of slowly dies and the, the fungus grows out of its head and becomes a, uh, it releases all of its spores so that it can reproduce. And I will not show this video on this, um, on this presentation, but you can, I'll link this video uh, in with the interactions resources on our Canvas page. Okay, so uh, if you were here, you did this interaction activity um, to help classify, if, to help solidify your understanding of these interactions. Um, if you weren't here, um, you should come see me, maybe see some examples and see if you can figure out what types of interactions those are so that you can add these to your ecosystem analysis. When you do this, I want you to find um, your specific examples of animal interactions in your ecosystem. Okay, so find a mutualism interaction in the tundra or find parasitism in the desert. They're all over the place, all over the world. Okay, so this is uh, ecosystem interactions in a nutshell.